Hey guys, so I want to give a quick demonstration on how to use the Red Arc Red Vision. So, power's already been on to it, so all you've got to do to turn to wake it up is just press any of the outside buttons here. This middle one um, goes into where you can put it into storage mode or touring mode. So, I usually just press one of these ones up here and it brings up the screen then. So, now whilst you're looking at it here, you can see the top four icons are light bulbs. So obviously they're for the lights. K is for the kitchen light outside. R is for the roof light up top. And then you have T for table lights and I for the other interior lights. Next after that is the two taps. So this tap button here is for the front water tank. And the one on this side is obviously for the rear. On this model of the Red Vision, they've actually got um, F and R on the tanks as well. So front and rear obviously. Uh, which is great to know your water distribution as well. So, Now, if we scroll down a screen with this button over here, you come to picture of the fridge. Now, uh, if I've sent you out in a van, you, you're not going to need to touch that button again. As long as it's green, it's good to go. Next one down is a picture of a thermometer with a, a wave and a sun. Um, that is for the diesel, um, diesel heater. So... I want to also give a bit of demonstration on how to use the diesel heater today. So obviously press that button there, it goes green, so it's also good to go now. Now with the diesel heater, a um, couple of things you got to do before you can actually use it. You've got to undo the little wing nut on top of the jerry can. Just, you've only got to do it a couple of turns just so the uh, tank can breathe to, when it's sucking through the diesel. And then at the back of the van there's also two uh, caps you got to take off of the exhaust and the inlet for the heater unit itself. So I'll bring you around to the control panel now and show you how to do it around that side as well. So as you can see just here, that there, that's where I've mounted my USB charging points here. Um, I like it there so that you can use it from the table if you're using that during the day or also from the bed at night underneath that you'll see this is where we have the control panel for the diesel heater so this is it turned off now obviously now to start to turn on again press the button it wakes up does this little start up comes to here now to turn the actual unit on white means it's doing nothing and as soon as you press that goes to green now that's already starting to fire up the unit already so it's it's normally as simple as that if it doesn't work like that um, you just got to go I'll turn it off again into into this section here for the um, to adjust all the settings so you can have timers for it to come on and obviously the heating mode ventilation mode the light goes blue when it goes into ventilation mode and adjust all your settings there as well. I think that's about it there, guys. Um, if you have any other questions, hit us up on our Facebook or Instagram at desertoak.com.au for our, our internet or Desert Oak on Facebook or Insta. Thanks, guys.